Daisy Howden and I'm 18 years old. I was around three years old when I started caring for my mum. My caring role definitely um, affected my school experiences um, through lots of different means. I um, missed a lot of school. Um, I also think that my grades that I achieved at school were a lot lower um, because of the amount of time I missed. And my behaviour was definitely compromised by my caring role. I felt quite angry about the fact that my life had been set out like this. Um, so I think with having the hormones, the anger, and then also teachers constantly on your back, I think I was like a fizzy bottle ready to explode. Like I just, I used to explode at anyone. Like I used to get really angry. Um, I'd walk out from lessons um, and the school then came to a point where I think the teacher kind of knew that there was something else and he said to me this isn't just because you're in trouble this time and I was like no and then I kind of had a breakdown and told them exactly what was going on at home um, and I think that was it was a really bad time at the time when I told them um, but later on it helped me in my further education. In the short term of telling my school about my caring role um, not a lot was put in place for me. Um, it was actually harder than having told, not told them previously. I think because I thought that everyone was looking at me differently because they saw me as a young carer. I thought that people were being too nice to me and I think I got quite angry because I was kind of like, are you doing this because you know I'm a young carer or are you doing this because you want to help me out? Um, but then as I went on to sixth form, because I stayed at the same school for sixth form, um, I kind of came to the realisation that people were only trying to help. Um, so the school would put in place longer deadlines, um, my punctuality, they'd understand if I didn't turn up to school. Um, and I kind of came to, came to an agreement with my sixth form that as long as I had my work in on time, that, you know, it didn't matter about my attendance. And if I was still retaining my grades, I could carry on with how I was doing at school. Um, well, before I finished sixth form, actually, I heard that there was a job going at um, this community centre, Hill Street Youth and Community Centre. Originally, I did want to go to university. Um, I was accepted into Edinburgh University. Um, however, due to my care and role, I didn't feel like I could leave to go to Edinburgh. So I applied for the job and luckily got it. And then a couple of months after I started work, I realised that I did want to go back to university. I needed to do some kind of further education. I needed to develop myself. So I persisted and I do open university out of Coventry University. I think to make further education more accessible for young adult carers, I think there needs to be some compassion. Um, to understand that every young carer is different. Every young carer has different aspirations. Careers advisors, I think at school are great, but there needs to be college or sixth form careers advisors to help young adult carers find their path and to be able to access further education and how they're going to manage that as well as their caring role to put them at reassurance, really. I think that apprenticeships need to become more um, accessible. A lot of young adult carers are afraid of on benefits of some kind. Um, and if a young adult carer got apprenticeships, then um, their benefits would be compromised. And I don't think that's fair because apprenticeships are classed as full-time education. And if we're in full-time education, that doesn't stop our benefits. So why should apprenticeships? I think it's really important for young adult carers to access further education. I'm not saying that I'm doing it the right way because I'm stressed all the time, but you know, we need to be able to, we need the determination to be able to do it. And you know, I'm going into my second year of my degree. I've already got one MVQ. I'm two months away from getting my second MVQ. And I've got A-levels and GCSEs. And if I can be any kind of role model to say, you really need to do your further education, that's what I want to do.